Recapping our, one of our top stories, the Lakers adding some firepower, pulling off a blockbuster deal. Paul Gasol, Kobe Bryant's new teammate, L.A. and Memphis, pulling off a deal that should have huge impact out west. Mark Jones and the shoot-around crew breaking it down. Gentlemen. All right, thanks a lot, Jay. So, Paul Gasol taking his 19 points a game. He led Memphis in points, rebounds, and blocks, taking that west to the Los Angeles Lakers. Bill Walton, what does this do now? Los Angeles is the number six seed in the west. Are they the favorites in the Western Conference now? Mark, this is an epic and historic day for Los Angeles because Los Angeles gave up nothing, and they got a big man who can run, rebound, think, catch. He is the anti-Kwame Brown. But, Stephen A., nobody knows how good... Pau Gasol is. He's never played in a meaningful NBA game. But it doesn't matter because he's replacing Kwame Brown. And when you take it to the fact that you're replacing nothing, that makes you something, which is a plus. And that's the way to look at this situation. Kwame Brown, God bless him, is a scrub. He can't handle the ball, can't post up, can't do anything, can't play defense. The Lakers were struggling. They were mired, mired in complete disgust, knowing that they were on a break of mediocrity anytime he was on the floor because he could couldn't get it done. Now you've got Powell Gasol. You pair him with Andrew Bynum. You didn't give up Lamar Odom either, and you still got Fisher and Kobe? Please. This is a beautiful deal. Not to mention the fact that you saved. Uh, I mean, you're taking on his money, but if you're Memphis, you also saved him about 49 From an X's and O's standpoint, Rick Carlisle, when you look at him fitting into the triangle, what kind of fit is Paul Gasol in Los well, Angeles? I love this trade for the LA Lakers on two counts. Number one, it's a seamless transition into the triangle offense. Now, if you study the triangle at all, you know that the center position is by far the easiest position to learn. That's one thing. The second thing is the skill set, the ability to drive the ball, hit the outside shot, great passer, guy with the ability to run, that makes it a great fit. The second thing, the Lakers are a team that likes to invert their offense. What do I mean by that? They like to post Kobe Bryant and the great Luke Walton, one of my favorite players. They're perimeter guys. And you bring a guy like Pau Gasol who can shoot the ball and stretch the defense, it gives those two guys more room to dominate on the inside. The triangle offense is Kobe Bryant shooting whenever and wherever <laughs> there he you wants go. From. There you go. A big problem they're going to have, if they try to start Bynum and Gasol and Lamar Odom, that's going to be too big of a front line. But you've got to have a fast-breaking game to compete You're not going to do that, though, if you're Phil Jackson. First of all, and this is, a, this is the beauty of this all, you're not going to do that if you're Phil Jackson. But even if you wanted to, it depends on what type of team you're going against and the size that they throw at you. Phil Jackson is more than qualified to make those adjustments, okay? And at the end of the day, this also puts a lot of pressure on Kobe Bryant and we know how he he responds to pressure. This he must be a little bit happier now that he has a little bit more help in the form of Pau Gasol. Well, June. Yes, they're looking LA, forward. And this, why not? Uh -huh. Unbelievable steal for Mitch Kupchak. He's right in the mix for executive of the decade. I wow. Hey, that's what does Danny Ainge think about what? that? Hey, coming up a little bit later on ESPN, the Jazz who won six straight taking on the Washington Wizards. And after that, we've got Zach Randolph headed back to the Rose Garden in Portland the as decade. the Knicks take on the Blazers. The a double dip tonight, oh, but it's all goodness. about the big deal.